my duo, Michael. I played a big part in taking away a year of that kid's life, which is exactly why I would never harm him. But you're gonna use him. Jason, why don't you let Michael evaluate the situation for himself? Mr. Morgan! It's so nice to see you again. How the hell did you get out of prison? No pleasantries? Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Did you get him released? Would I bring this grief on myself? Oh, John, you wound me. My father and Angela Dwyer orchestrated his release without my input. It is such a pleasure to be gardening again. There are so many broken, neglected things in this world, and all they need is a safe, nurturing environment. Don't you think? I'm not staying. Hey. Hey. Banana blueberry smoothie for me and a mango strawberry for you. My favorite, you remembered. It's been a while. I know. Remember we'd sit at that park. You'd listen to me go on and on about wanting to quit the strip club and make a better life for myself. You have. Except the part where I'm now a murder suspect. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about anything? Actually, I was just looking for Michael. You know, maybe he's here talking to Jason, or... No, I mean, Michael's usually with you. I know, but Dante insisted that he stay at his place tonight. Okay, well, what did Michael want? To be with me. You know, I backed Dante, though. But as soon as Michael left, I wanted him back. Which is just completely selfish. So dumb. Listen, it is not selfish for you to need Michael right now. You are going through a lot. I mean, you were just framed for murder. You know, I thought that witness was lying, but I know him. I mean, I, I think you really believed that it was me. Okay, so then that means somebody hired someone that looks exactly like you to pull the trigger. Who would go through all this I trouble? I don't know. Maybe Jason is right. Maybe whoever set you up is really after Michael. So I should dump Michael before all this gets worse? Here I am, surrounded by growing things. It's not like prison. It took me years of wrangling to get one fragile plant. And I was nursing that plant along, too, until Mr. Corinthos came to see me. His meds must not be working so good. He had this tantrum. Took it out on the plant. Knocked the pot right out of my hand. Is that any way to treat a living thing? So your father's been pulling strings from prison. Did he have Brandon killed? Who's Brandon? Why would I whack a guy I never heard of? You put a leash on your father or we're gonna have trouble. Hey. I think I know who framed Abby. Anthony Zakara is out of prison. How did Anthony Zakara get out of prison? He's supposed to be in there for decades know, and decades. I know, same Brandon Lowell did. Zakara family attorney, Angela Dwyer. Johnny in on it? Mm, he says no. Well, I mean, Johnny and his father don't get along. Yeah, see, we know, we know uh, this car is very big into family trust, but Johnny actually has a conscience, and Anthony doesn't. Well, Johnny's been trying to get Michael into the business for a very long time. Uh, right, I know. He feels bad for Michael. I don't think he'd want to see Michael get hurt. Anthony doesn't have the same concern. What Anthony wants is to destroy Sonny and take everything over. And what better way to do it than to go through Michael? Michael, and I think that Anthony knew he was going to get out of prison, so he started the ball rolling by arranging a hit on Abby's ex. Anthony arranged for Brandon's murder and framed Abby. Well, like you just said, the best way to get to Sonny is Michael, and that's what Anthony wants. Okay, well, if this were a setup, then it had to have been a professional killer. I'm gonna go out and see if I can ask around. What do you, what what do you mean you're gonna go out tonight? You, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get a lead. Well, Why not? You, you have the surgery tomorrow. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just trying to put it off for a little while. You don't have to make excuses to put it off. I'm not making excuses. I didn't mean to you anyway. Maybe just to me. I, I thought it was what you wanted. I don't know, Jason. I mean, what I want keeps changing. I am sure that I love you and I love our life together. And I am just afraid that if I get my hopes up and I'm going to get disappointed and that's not going to just listen to me. Oh, what am I doing? This is just a procedure. Yeah, I know, but...
gonna be your choice. Okay, it needs to feel right to you. And whatever you decide, I'm gonna support you. I'm being silly. Mm -hmm. It's stupid. I mean, nothing has to be decided tomorrow. If the procedure works, then we can put off getting pregnant. Jason, I guess it's just I'm afraid. Because I know part of you wants to get on your bike and never come back. No. Nothing ever gets solved by running away. I'm just saying. I know how hard it is for you to stay. I and love you, really... Sam. Okay, I love you. I'm not going anywhere. I love you. And I guess I need to go upstairs and go to sleep and get some rest because I have a procedure tomorrow. And you go. Go to work. Do what you do. Be safe. Okay? Spinelli, listen, I need you to hack into Angela Dwyer's accounts. She's the Zakara family attorney. Somebody paid her to put Brandon Lowell back on the street probably so he could be murdered. Okay, so I need you, I need you to follow the money. I need you to see if there was any big payouts around the time of Brandon's death. And then what I need you to do is I need you to pull up the security footage from Brown Vaughn's because I'm looking for someone who fits Abby's description. Blonde, slender, 5'7". You got it? Let's get it done. Jason, what are you doing here? Where's Johnny? Why do you need to see him? Why were you at Johnny's house? If you were there to kill him, please don't. It would be awful for Michael. You're the one person in the world who he completely trusts. I mean, it could break that trust forever if you killed Johnny to protect him. I got no plans to kill Johnny. Okay. You still haven't said why you were there. Like I said, Johnny has always been decent to me, so I can't believe that he would frame me for killing Brandon. I was hoping you would tell me what he knew. You're Sam's friend. Yeah. And I know you came into this as a favor. You've been good to Michael. You've actually helped him through one of the worst times in his life. Look, it goes both ways. Michael has been amazing If you're tied to, to the Zakaras, and you're working Michael on their orders, I need to know right now. You'd kill me, wouldn't you? I would never hurt you. Michael cares about you, and I believe that you care about Michael, but sometimes people get scared. And if you made a bad choice, and you're working with the Zakars because they're holding something over you, I need to know. Johnny's got nothing on me, except the money I owe him for tuition. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you the money to pay that debt off. That needs to go away now. Then I'm going to be obligated to you. I don't want anything from you. I'm just trying to give you the freedom from the people who might. There's no pressure for you to do anything except be honest. I'm scared for Michael. He wants to save me, and he doesn't care what the risks are. I need to clear my name and keep Michael from doing something that sends him back to prison. I'm guessing that's the same reason why you were at Johnny's dealings with uh, Johnny's father, Anthony. I thought he was in prison. He just got out. And he's staying with Johnny. I gotta tell you that Anthony is crazy. He's ruthless and he's very smart. He's probably the one who framed you for Brandon's murder. Why? I've never even met the guy. Well, uh, I'm guessing that, you know, 
Anthony getting released from Pentonville was in the works for a while, and he wanted to come out of prison with some leverage against Sonny, and that's Michael. The best way to control Michael is to threaten you. This is so awful. You know, my, Michael has been wonderful. The last thing I ever wanted to do was cause trouble. Now that's exactly what I've done. At least I have a better idea who might have done this. Well, do you think you can prove it? Because if not, I'm basically screwed. A witness who knows me thinks he saw me. I, I have all the motive in the world, no alibi. You know, I've studied the law enough to know that I can see where this is going. If I don't prove that I'm innocent, I'm gonna have to take a plea bargain. Oh, no. No, Michael couldn't take it if he went to prison. Uh, Abby, what are you, what are you, what are you doing here? I was just uh, discussing my situation with Jason. Yeah, we were just talking about how she's been framed and what to do about it now. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you stopped by. I didn't think I was going to see you tonight. Michael, we need to talk. It's no problem. You know what? I was just on my way out. No, no, it's okay. I don't have any secrets to keep from you. You stay. Yeah, but I'd rather do this privately. Well, I think my parole officer's going to come through the door and bust me for talking to Abby. Look, Jason respects you, Michael. Okay, acts in your best interest. I know that he's doing that right now. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. okay. Thanks. Bye. Jason, I'm not staying away from Abby. Okay, I just got out of a long lecture from Dad and Dante, and I don't want to fight with you either. Okay, you, you want to see Abby? That's your choice. But she's in some serious trouble, and if she's going to get out of it, you need to stop thinking about what you want and think about protecting her. Your mind Anthony's out of Pentonville. Yes, and he's living with Johnny. I think he's the one who framed Abby. Well, how would he want to go after Abby? It makes no sense. To, to control you. Okay, well, I won't let that happen. I'll never trust no, no, Anthony no, Zakar. Anthony, this is personal for Anthony Zakar. He wants to take Sonny down and send a message. You think Johnny's involved? I think you need to stay away from both of them. Yeah, but Johnny's been nothing but helpful to me and Abby. I mean, I, like, I, I can go to his penthouse. No, see no, no. You need to stay out of this. I'm going to do everything I can to exonerate Abby. Look, I'm the reason that Abby's being framed. You can't expect me just to Sure, Yeah, sure I can, Michael, because if you get in the middle of this, Anthony's going to take advantage of every move that you make. Don't give him that opportunity. I don't want to make things worse for Abby. I just want her Michael, I'm going to fix this. But I'm going to tell you right now, when this is over, there's going to be more situations like this. And it's never going to stop unless you walk away from the business. It's always back to this. Is, is, you. Do you want to go through this all the time? Is this really how you want to live? Brenda. You said that people get to make their own choices. I'm just trying to say that if you choose this business, you're going to limit your life and you're just asking for trouble. You taught me how to believe in myself. How to get up after being knocked down and how to do what I think is right. And take care of the people that I love. That's all I'm trying to do right now. You could be headed down a road you can't get off of. I don't agree. <sighs> but as you can see, I I'm not yelling. I'm not breaking things. That's progress. We're going to drop this for now. Well, how would we just drop it entirely? Uh, not until you hear me. So where are you staying tonight? I told Dante I'd stay at his place. Okay. I'm going to be unreachable for uh, a couple hours tomorrow. Sam's having a procedure. And the best way that you can help me is just stay away from Anthony and Johnny. Well, is Sam okay? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, she, she might be able to have kids. Hmm. Well, Jason, maybe that's why you're so worried about me. You think... If I choose a life outside the business, then it'll be okay for you to have kids. Yeah, maybe. Look, one thing is completely different than the other. Jason, you'll make a great dad. I lost my mother.